Hey, what's up, Chanel? Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Happy Sunday. And today we're going to be blasting California's skeletal remains, devouring mortality on Dark Descent Records and Century Media Europe. Pretty sure. Definitely fucking face melting old school death metal. I mean, you got the Dan Seagrave artwork, you have production that harkens back to like the glory days of more sound studios in Florida and whatnot, and this is so fucking good. It's, it's sick on cassette, it's sick on LP, I'm sure it's sick on CD as well. Fucking so good. It's just perfect for like summertime coming up and stuff. Because, um, I forget who it was. I think it was, uh, it was a long time ago. Ah, fuck me, man. Ah, I'm so sorry. I cannot remember. Oh, Marty Worm. Uh, Marty was talking about how he likes listening to death metal during, like, the summertime and stuff. Like, you know, like, listen to Morbid Angel Alters of Madness, whose birthday was yesterday, I forgot to mention. Happy birthday, Morbid Angel Alters of Madness. May 12th, 1989, that monster was dropped on the unsuspecting cocaine-induced 1980s. And, yeah, fucking A. Because without that album, who knows if this would exist. It's one of those butterfly effect type things. Like, just because the whole More Sound Studios vibe I get from this, even though it's not recorded at More Sound, this is straight out of Cali, and so fucking good even though you wouldn't know that there's parts on here that sound like straight up like you know ten commandments malevolent creation it's fucking sick even the logo reminds me of malevolent creation but this is not about skeletal remains i did pick up the tape off my buddy like i said hails pat but uh today i want to talk about an awesome demo and uh 20 buck spin put out the lp but um I do need to get the LP, like, speaking of it, like, but in the meantime, I grabbed Superstition's demo, Surging Throng of Evil's Might. <sighs> wow. Now, I slept on this for a very long time, like, I know it's like four tracks plus like an instrumental that doesn't really count, but... I didn't really know too much about this band. I just like saw their name around a lot and I heard people starting like kind of like discussing them like in the underground and stuff. So I was like, you know what? Let me check these guys out on Bandcamp. So uh, I typed their name in and uh, I go to superstitiondeath.bandcamp or whatever it is and uh, Surging Throng of Evil's Might. I um, immediately put on Death's Fuming Passage, the first track and went straight to Nuclear War Now, checked their tape selection, because they were all sold out at the time. I think they have some now. If not, just grab the LP, like seriously. Like, I grabbed this just in case. Like, I knew it was awesome, but like, do I really, I didn't know how long everything was and whatnot, you know? Like, so I just was like, ah, like, I'll just get the tape first and I immediately was like, all right, I need the mini LP. This is so fucking good. Like, it, it seriously goes back to, like, a time when death metal was, like, still kind of new. But, like, when I say new, I mean, like, it's just more or less oozing fucking evil ancient death metal. And that fucking rules. Because Superstition, seriously, like, they're from Santa Fe, Mexico, and I didn't really know even New Mexico really had a big death metal scene or anything. And I'm still not sure if they do, but the fact that Superstition hail from, like, you know, the fucking nuclear bunkers of, like, New Mexico and the fucking Crips, fuck yeah, I could tell completely, like, that kind of desert vibe like you can hear it a little bit like it's not emphasized too much but like I can definitely you know I've been to Santa Fe New Mexico it's a beautiful city and um, 
it'd be nice if Superstition would go knock up on George R. R. Martin's house and um, put some kind of, you know, spell on him or something and make him finish the Winds of Winter. Or just steal the manuscripts. <laughs> but, um, yeah. This is so fucking good. Uh, I, I don't even really know where to start here. Like, amazing usage of, like, synthesizer, like, intros, outros to help create atmosphere and, like, all sorts of fucking sick shit. Like, Death's Fuming Passage, Outer Mutation, Surging Throng of Evil's Might and Grave Portals. Every single one of these tracks is fucking awesome. Like, I wish there were something bad I could say about this, because it seems, I know it seems like I, I, I don't give anything a bad review. Trust me, there's shit I will rip the fuck apart. But am I going to pay for it? Like, why would I buy an album I'm not going to listen to? Yeah, I've done plenty of blind buys and have been like, fuck, this sucks. Ah! But like, it's, it's, you know, nowadays you can actually listen to everything before you buy it, but still, it's fun sometimes, not knowing what you're gonna fucking get. Like, you could get, you know, I forget what the last blind buy I got, but I know it, had, it was a head split, head split, uh, it was, um, that Festering Wounds, um, demo or EP, whatever it was. I forget if it's a demo or if it's an EP, but the self-titled Festering Wounds um, tape, it came with like a bundle package with like two other tapes I wanted, but like I didn't really even know that much about them, but I ended up like falling in love with it like pretty much instantane instantaneously, like as soon as I put it on, like I knew it was like a gore grind band, so I, I just instantly was like, yes, this is awesome. <laughs> But, um, Gore Grind, it's not a guilty pleasure of mine. I love Gore Grind, but, like, only when it's done right. And, like, they're one of the few bands that I feel do it absolutely right. No drum kit from hell. It's, like, the original drum kit from hell. Like, a real drum machine. And that's sick. I like when bands actually use a real drum machine. It sounds really fucking cool. Especially, like, no, a lot of noise bands do it, and it always ends up sounding great. But, like, you know, agoraphobic nosebleeds sound great live as well with the drum machine, but Superstition use a live drummer, and seriously, this just brings you back to days of death metal old, and it's fucking great. Like, to, this is seriously such a kick-ass demo. Surging Throng of Evil's Might... Like, fucking wow. Again, this is one of those bands I legit... I was like, oh, these guys must be from, like, Portland, Washington, Denver, something like that. Because they're touring with Mortifernum and Spectral Voice. So when I saw that they were from New Mexico, I was like, that's fucking sick. Because that means there's a fucking scene in New Mexico that I don't really know too much about. So I want to dive into a little bit more of, like, you know some of these guys past pro projects and whatnot, but of course you just get initials. So if anyone from Superstition watches this video, if you have any other side projects, old projects, whatever, if it would be cool, just um, email me at brownpantzine at gmail.com or suburban shrapnel on Instagram. But um, you have LS on guitar, vocals, art, and words. KM on guitar, bass, synthesizer, and tape manipulation. And DM on battery. And I'm pretty sure this was recorded onto a... Recorded to four-track analog tape by KM. So, yeah, mixed and mastered by Andrew Oswald. I'm not really sure if they used, like, an 8-track or anything like that to record it. Because this sounds fucking great. Like, yeah, it has that ancient quality to it. And I'm using that quote from the band. Like, they used the word ancient, like, to describe, like, the sound. And, like, it was right on the fucking money. Like, it just really does, like, remind you of, like, when death metal was a lot more just straightforward. 
simple and like you know there wasn't like super you know just outside of the box thinking like here you're pretty much stuck inside your fucking casket and that's not a bad thing at all like there's nothing wrong with you know like doing a blood incantation and like taking pages from like demi ghoul and time <laughs> demi ghoul Time Ghoul and Demi Lick. I, I meant to say, like, you know, the whole Demi Ghoul thing. Like, there's nothing wrong with thinking outside of the n normal death metal box and making it your own. And Superstition do that fucking great, but they also stick to kind of the script of what makes a classic death metal release classic. And that is memorable riffs, songwriting that's like awesome and kind of like you know one of a kind but at the same time like i said it follows that formula but superstition just really nailed this like it's fucking great every track on here like death Suming passage awaken insanity's gate spell spoken blood feed the severed spirit embers of cremation's power Flesh reborn beneath death's fuming passage. You just have awesome lyrics about death. It's fucking death metal. What did you expect? Like, Grave Portals? Holy shit. Like, what a bad-ass song. The lyrics are great. Resurrection, pain, return. Decayed disciples from death's plane appear to mortal eyes. Warped conjugation reanimate the flesh psychic incantation gravel portals awaken slumbering death arise from rotting dimensions creeping flesh rebound cruel tendons unwound it's fucking great like seriously this is so fucking sick if you're a fan of death metal and you don't like this I don't know what to tell you I, ser I seriously don't like Unless, you know, you're just into, like, brutal death metal and shit like that, then, yeah, I, you know, stick to whatever you're listening to, but, uh, yeah. If you're into brutal death metal, then you fucking better be listening to, like, fucking Tomb Mold, because it's just fucking way better than whatever triggered-as-fuck drum kit band you're listening to with... You know, fucking vocals straight out 2005 still, but it's all gravy because you have bands like Superstition that seriously just destroy your preconceived conception of like what, you know, death metal should be in the year 2018. Because this really brought me back to like when death metal was fucking evil. And it's right in the fucking title. Surging throng of evil's might. This is death metal cut with an evil fucking edge from days past, destination time yesterday. So fucking good. I don't really know how else to, you know, describe this album other than total fucking death from the past. But... The past is today, it seems, and this is just a kick-ass demo tape that I can't recommend enough. This is the self-released version. The LP is available for 20 bucks spin. This is just seriously, like I said, once again, top-notch, top, notch, top uh, 10 out of 10, grade fucking A death metal. So good. If you can't get into Superstition, I don't know what to tell you, but like I said, there's so many other different blends of like, you know, old school death metal out there and like just death metal in general that don't be too worried if this doesn't catch on with you, but I can't see why it wouldn't. I mean, all I gotta say is they are touring with Mortifernum and Spectral Voice, so that should give you a little, you know, insight on how fucking gnarly this demo tape is. Surging throng of evil's might. Fuck yeah. Get on this shit. And we've been blasting another album you guys have to get on. Skeletal Remains Devouring Mortality on Dark Descent Records. 
awesome California death metal. So fucking good. But as always, thanks for watching. You guys fucking rule. Peace.